Welcome to this second video from EOS Network on the EOS 7D. The EOS 7D features a raft of new tools for you to make use of. In this video we'll look at the movie settings and menu, the dual axis electronic level, the quick control screen and the connections build and layout. The camera features a dedicated switch for accessing the live view and movie recording functions. This speeds up access and makes it easier to enter either live view or movie mode. Once you've turned the switch to the movie function, the fourth tab along in the menu will change to show movie settings. The camera features user selectable frame rates depending on the resolution and video system you use. With the camera set to the PAL video system, you have access to either 1920x1080 at both 24 and 25 frames per second, as well as 1280x720 and 640x480 at 50 frames a second. If you now move along to the second yellow settings menu, you can change the video system to NTSC. The options have changed to 1920x1080 at either 30 or 24 frames per second, and 1280x720 or 640x480 at 60 frames per second. If we now switch to the live view settings using the switch on the back, this changes the fourth menu tab and removes these movie recording size settings. The dual axis electronic level is another new feature for the EOS range. It'll be especially useful to those shooting with tilt and shift lenses, but it's also going to be of great interest to anyone who's ever had trouble getting a horizon level. The level display can be seen either on the rear LCD display or in the viewfinder. If you choose to show it on the rear LCD, you can access it in normal shooting when the display is turned off, in live view shooting and also in movie shooting. In the last two, it will show as an overlay over the scene that the camera is viewing. To get to this live view display, simply press the info button to cycle through. You can also configure the new multifunction button, located behind the shutter button, to access this setting. The electronic level will display both pitch and roll. Pitch will be shown up to plus or minus 10 degrees in 1 degree increments. Roll will show the full 360 degrees, also in 1 degree increments. Up to plus or minus 10 degrees from level, the display will be accurate to within 1 degree. However, between 10 and 45 degrees, it's accurate to within plus or minus 3 degrees. Pressing the Q button at the top left of the back of the camera will access the quick control screen. This is a very simple way of accessing and setting various camera settings. It provides access to most of the shooting functions you're likely to want to change. You can cycle through shutter speed, aperture, ISO, exposure compensation, flash exposure compensation, AF point selection, picture styles, white balance, metering modes, auto lighting optimizer, camera controls, drive modes, autofocus modes, and file size settings. With several of these, you can either set them directly using the main and rear command dials, or you can enter their menu options by pressing the set button and changing the settings from there. The inputs on the side of the EOS 7D have been slightly changed. Most notably missing is the AV input, which instead of having a dedicated port, has been combined with the USB port to provide both options in one. You'll also find the familiar N3 connector, PC Sync and Mini HDMI connectors, as well as the stereo microphone input. To cope with the wear and tear that cameras are often subjected to, the build quality of the camera has been improved. It now features more precise joint alignments that are also more sealed against the elements. This allows the camera to have the same level of weatherproofing as the EOS 1N film camera did. Why not check out the blog and user community at www.eos-network.com. Thanks for watching.